Hello guys, welcome to Insight Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at a very common household item in India. So this, as you guys might know, these are known as gas lighters or simply lighters. And these are actually used here in India to ignite your gas stoves. So if you are watching this from somewhere other countries, you may not be familiar with these kinds because you guys were using uh, induction cooktops or other cooking ranges that do not need this or autom they have in automatic uh, fire uh, the ignition sources but here in India the gas shelves that are popular that are normally uh, popular doesn't come with an automatic ignition system you need something like this uh, for starting the ignition and I will put a picture of that type of stove in the, in the screen right now now if you are not familiar with this particular item then you will be familiar with something like this this is a very common a simple cigarette lighter like simple cigarette lighter and this thing actually contains a very uh, the very exact mechanism of this one but in a much smaller form factor as you can see inside this thing right here is one of this exact thing but in a much smaller scale so everything that I'm going to say about this wing this thing the working of this thing is applicable for this one also so the way this thing works so even though these things are known as gas lighters or just lighters so basically all of these are the piezoelectric high voltage generators because this has a knob right here that is uh, that you can press on and if you take a look at this one this point you can see an electrode right there and I'm pressing on it but and you are not seeing any sparks jumping across that's because this one is a bad one so if this was a really working one then when I press that switch it should uh, show some sparks jumping across from the metal that is in the center of there to the outer ring. So that's the high voltage generator on its own. So these are usually used at the uh, to ignite the gas towels as I mentioned so let's just take this thing apart so and if you take a look at this particular model you can see there's a pattern going on this side is completely rusted see that and if I flip it up you can see it's somewhat shinier that's because this thing has been sitting in a metallic tray for ages and it's just doing that and that's why this thing is no longer working it's not creating any spark you can actually touch you can actually touch the center pin with your hand and give it the sap and you will not get a sap if this was a proper working one then doing that doing by touching the in in uh, metal and by pressing this one you are creating a circuit through your body and that is that will be so powerful that you it, you, it will give you a very powerful sap so enough of talking just just take this thing apart and this thing uses the uh, threaded mechanism so you twist to unlock and we can actually take this apart the way it is actually placed inside so that's the first thing coming out is the push push button mechanism then comes the hammering mechanism and what else is inside okay okay so uh, that has to be the retainer mechan retaining mechanism for the hammer and this is the final bit that we were seeing through here so that's just so now this is just the hollow shell and this is exactly how everything is kept inside let me just focus on that this is exactly how things are kept inside your gas lighter so what happens is that let's take a look at before the explanation let's take a look at the components individually and this is just focus this is just the ordinary plastic thingy with a metallic uh, piece just to give it a push and it is hollow for a purpose because it needs to accommodate the hammer when you are pushing on this you are pushing the outer casing this this outer casing this black thing against this spacer right here you can see this one has two ridges one on the inner side and one on the other side that one and this one so when you push on the uh, button right here you're pushing this plastic thingy against the 
outer ridge so it creates the spring see the spring is actually locked onto that and when you push it you are actually pushing the uh, metallic thingy inside so you are this thing needs to be hollow because it needs to accommodate the uh, metallic thing that comes out like that and this once this uh, this hammer has the it looks like a nail that has been uh, cut to size but it's not that it has a latching mechanism over there so it, it prevents the thing from going through this side and this washer is used to hold on in that location and once you push that in you can actually see when you push on the outer handle when you push on this the outer this plastic thing is pushing on this thing and when you keep pushing on it this if you take a look at this side you can see the inner ridge is actually holding on this this metallic part is holding on to the inner latch just like that see it is holding on to that I'm keeping this thing completely straight and yet that is holding on to that but once the pressure is so high that it cannot hold on to that anymore it just releases the whole thing at once see see that see that action happening see that is the hammering action that I was talking about the pressure will be so high that it releases this this inner spring it has an inner spring right there which is much more which has much more pressure than this this is fairly easy to push but this one is not that easy to push on so it once it pushes onto that it releases the whole spring releases the whole pressure just like that and it creates a sudden bang and that bang is necessary because as I said these are piezoelectric uh, igniters so it depends on the hammering action it needs that much amount of pressure see that's what I'm talking about it needs that much amount of pressure for the piezoelectric to generate the high voltage so once it is latched on that metallic hammer once it is released once that is released that metallic hammer is going to hit on to this metallic piece so hard so what's inside this is really interesting because if you take this apart this is where the magic happens because the property of piezo element as I said the piezo element uh, it, it, it is a, a certain kind of material that if you actually exert if you exert a pressure onto that material it creates an electric elec it creates an electricity and if you apply electricity to that it actually creates a vibration on that and now here in this one we are striking the, uh, the uh, piezoelectric element with this high power uh, metallic head which is enough to create a high voltage electricity that can jump across a couple of uh, millimeters so you can see this uh, metallic part the other end of the metallic part is also like a hammer head like that just like that and uh, we are now taking that apart and you can already see there's something inside okay so when you hit when you're hitting on this hammer when you the hand the hammer hits on this end it is hitting th the this part is going to hit onto that thing right there whatever that is inside so I'm just going to take that out so it looks like a metallic uh, it look it looks like aluminum it certainly is not the piece of element that right there is a piece of element that right there my guys is a piece of element so let me just take a magnet and no it's not magnetic but that that thing really is magnetic let's just keep that away oh it's taking too long of things creating a lot of mess let's just keep that away and yeah that thing was there and this metallic disc this is one of the metallic disc and let me just take out the actual the magic ingredient out of this 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 my friends is the piezo element and you will you now know the reason why this is not working if I just turn this off see the piece of the element is all cracked and it's all broken see that it's all broken and it's not good anymore that is the reason why it is not creating a spark it was it was supposed to be a one single element now it's broken into a lot of pieces let me just focus onto that closer so that you can see it much better see 
it was one single unit one whole unit and now it's broken to lots of pieces so that's the reason why it is not working i think so that is one metallic wire let's see let's take let's com take this thing completely into pieces let's just use a screwdriver to push the other side out and what's inside the i don't know it's not coming up so easily I'm just pushing it out okay okay there comes the other metallic part it has some bits of the attached so now the picture becomes more clear because this thing is attached onto this this thing is actually this uh, is actually sandwiched between two metallic pieces like that see you see what I mean this is ex this is how it is arranged inside this metallic element so when you're actually heating it let me just draw it for you when you are actually heating this is the piezo element that we saw that is the broken part and this is the first metallic dish this is the second metallic dish I mean focus was I even in the frame I don't know let's just hope I am and this is the outer metallic element that has the uh, this is the outer element let's just assume the frame is still here so what happens is that this is the so this thing is what I'm holding right now this thing is what I'm holding and this last piece this one is the end element which is somewhere in and which is this this element right here this part right here that is the end of this uh, thing and this round thing this thing right here is the let's just keep that away this thingy is uh, is this one right here and it is where it is towards this side is where the actual hammer comes into contact and this is the hammer that this thing so when you when you when the spring gets released it hits on to uh, this thing and that much pressure causing is what heating onto this plate and it the piece element is being compacted between these two metallic plates and that compaction that action is what responsible for creating the high voltage that is necessary to uh, create a spark so basically speaking that is how the gas lighter or just the piezoelectric lighters work so this exact principle what is used inside this one also but on a much smaller scale the piezo element will not be this big you can see the entire thing this entire piezo element is bigger than the whole arrangement i think so much on a much smaller scale this is exactly what's happening inside this one also i will one day take about this one and we'll see. take a detailed look later but now that's enough for today i believe so that guys is how the typical piezoelectric lighter works anyways thanks for watching see you in another video